In this video, we'll look at how to set up this smart wireless IP camera. This camera is a complete standalone camera and so it has provision for a memory card here for the storage of all videos captured by this camera. This is the kind of memory card it takes and this is how it is placed into the camera. You push it down until it locks in the camera. At the back here is a speaker at the top here. Here is a network port through which you can feed internet into this camera. But you can alternatively decide to use a wireless internet for this camera without using this port in case you do not have a cable internet to use for connecting internet into this camera. Last at the bottom here is the point through which you can connect power into this camera. Below the device is a QR code through which this device can be linked to its management software for viewing and control. And finally, there is a reset point here for resetting this camera in the course of configuration. We'll soon see how all these facilities around the camera can be used. These are provisions for DC power for the camera. This end goes into the adapter and this end plugs into the camera. So just plug this end into the power socket and turn on the power. You can see the camera powered on. It is now initializing. So we'll go on to the phone now. You will have to download and install this app called Sovi International to your phone. When you open the software, this is how it looks. To add your camera, you tap the add sign here. At this point, we are required to use the phone to scan this QR code below the camera. So I'll do that. It has picked up. So following these instructions here, I need to use my reset pin to reset my camera until I hear a prompt from the camera. So I'll press. Once I hear the prompt, I'll go back on the software and tap, I have heard the audio prompt. That brings me here. You will have to enter your internet Wi-Fi password in order to enable your camera get connected to your internet by Wi-Fi connection. After entering the Wi-Fi password, you can just tap next. The next step is what is illustrated here. So I will tap here. So you will have to point this QR code to the face of your camera. After doing that, you can see that the camera is establishing connection to the Wi-Fi network. There is a hint here. Based on user privacy protection, it is recommended to set a strong login password. So we'll choose edit now. We now have opportunity to choose a password for our camera. When you are done, you can just save. And you can see that I have my camera on now. You can switch your picture quality from here. I'll choose HD. And you can see that the picture quality has become better. This button enables you to take snapshots. This is where you can play back recordings from your SD card. I currently do not have any recordings because we started the recording not too long. This button gives you access to the pan and tilt functions of the camera where you can pan the camera either left or right or you can tilt it up and down. 
at this point also you can record videos directly onto your phone that is apart from the recordings that go onto the sd card you can find many more functions and features about this camera when you delve much deeper into it it's been a pleasure coming your way again thank you so much for watching see you in the next video thank you